Park, as always available to our patients. I hope you find it peaceful and relaxing. Since you are here voluntarily, I have agreed to your brother's request for you to continue painting. Our treatment for mental disease is primarily hydropathic. You will be taking hot baths several times a week for two hours. Dr. Perron, do you think the attacks will return? Difficult to say, perhaps. Well, are there precautions I can take to prevent another attack? Yes, you must avoid all mental stimulation, no noise, no excitement. We strive for an atmosphere of calm and serenity. We encourage our patients to come to terms with life, accept things as they are. Be assured, almost a third of the people of France are insane. Regrettably, only a fraction are confined. I hope this room is satisfactory. Dr. Perron, you, you've read my background. What do you think caused the attacks? Oh, much too soon to say. I need more time to study you firsthand. Certainly your life habits left a lot to be desired. Uh, not eating enough, keeping yourself going, and coffee and alcohol, very bad, very bad. Still, several of your relatives suffered from epilepsy. What you have may be just a continuation of this. Aside from Teo and Cor, have you any other brothers or sisters? Yes, I have three sisters, and there was Vincent. Vincent? Vincent! Another son. He, he, he was born a year before me. He died at birth. I see. Vincent! 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 Is anything wrong, Mr. Van Gogh? Mr. Van Gogh, are you all right? Do any of your sisters have epilepsy? No. Apologize! Mr. Van Gogh? Apologize. Something wrong? Mr. Van Gogh. Yes. You've had a very long day. I'll go and let you get some rest. We'll have plenty of time to talk about this. We eat every day at the same hours. Please try to uh, follow the schedule as best as possible. And please remember, whenever you need me, I will be available. And you will be treated with kindness and consideration. Good day, Mr. Van Gogh. Death took my baby, my poor dead baby. Get down on your knees. Say a prayer for your brother. Apologize for taking his place. Apologize. I hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you. God help you, child. He died so you could live. 
Pray to God for forgiveness. Always remember, if a man hate not his own life, he cannot become a disciple of Christ. You must learn to hate yourself, child. Hate yourself for what you are. Hate yourself for what you are. Dear Mr. Van Gogh, I am pleased to inform you that your brother is making nice progress and is adjusting well to our institution. When he first arrived here, he was relatively inactive, but now he spends a great deal of his time painting. Although I don't really approve of this, it is obviously very important to him. I am therefore giving him liberty to distract himself and fight against depression. Dear Mr. Van Gogh, I am happy to report that your brother continues to make progress here, and he seems to be more at peace than when he arrived. He has, however, suffered recurrent nightmares and hallucinations, but let me hasten to add that in a case like his, this is not unusual at all. I believe this will shortly pass and that his improvement will continue. With the number of precautions he is now taking, he's not likely to relapse. It's good. Yes. Yes, it's good. No. I think it's good. Then why doesn't it sell? What am I doing wrong? How can I improve? What is it? What the hell is it? You have improved quite a bit. It's a big difference from the last ones you sent me. You're making strides. But... But what? No, no. I, I mean, what's wrong with them? Did I say anything? Well, they're not perfect, are they? Do you think they no, are? No, no, of course not. Now, that's what I want to know. What am I doing wrong? Why aren't they selling? I told you before, it takes time, but you, you are making progress. Well, yes, but can't you be more specific? What do you want me to say? Oh, you know how I respect your opinion. Now, as a dealer, what do you think of them? Your work is a lot better, but you've got a long way to go. Theo, for God's sake, that's too general. Be specific. A lot of this work is very superficial. Oh, no. It's... No, no, no. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't believe that. I, I, I put my blood and guts into these paintings. Now, they, 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 they may be cruel. There may be mistakes, but they are not superficial. Vincent, if I were to submit your work to the Salon jury, they would demolish it. Why, that's ridiculous. I, I, I never said a word about submitting it to the Salon. Besides, I hate the work in the Salon. You know that. No, no. Tell me, rather, what prospective buyers have said about it. I... I can't believe that some of my work isn't good enough to bring at least... Well, a small price, even just enough to pay for the material. Aside from a couple of friends, I haven't shown your work to anyone yet. What? Why? Why? I don't understand. 
It's really quite simple. It's not ready to be seen yet. It may be simple to you, but not to me. Why the hell didn't you tell me? I mean, all this time, I thought... I don't understand. Perhaps in another year. Oh, hell, that's exactly what you said years ago when I sent you my first sketches. I told you before, you must keep on working and have a little patience. Oh, Christ, that's all you ever say. Keep on working, have a little patience. <laughs> don't you understand? I can't live on that. Listen, listen, I, I, I have no wife, I have no child, but at least, God, at least I thought you were showing my worth. I've told you before, I'm not in a position to do anything. Oh, how can you say that? You're, you're the manager of the largest gallery in Paris, and you sell everyone else's work. I'm sick of people asking me why I never sell my work or why I don't do business with you or your gallery. Vincent, listen to the me. The people who run this field, they're the worst enemies of art. They, they're not like you. They, they, they flatter the public. They encourage the worst, the most barbaric taste. But you, oh my God, Teo, you could do something about it. I am trying to do something, but it takes time. My employers make the situation almost impossible for me. I'm under constant pressure to produce, and I'm always reminded of how tenuous my position is. I don't think you realize how difficult this business is. And believe me, it is a business. And money and politics play a brutal part in it. But don't you see that? That's wrong. It, it shouldn't be that way. That may be, but it is that way. Well, we've got to change it. Look, I'm trying to, but I tell you, it takes time. There are more Impressionist painters in my entresol than anywhere in Paris, and I had to sweat blood to get each one of them in there, but I did it. And I intend to do a hell of a lot more in the future, but you've got to understand. First and foremost, I'm a merchant. And let me tell you something. You haven't made it any easier for me. I've told you for years to be more sociable, to improve your appearance, to go and see people and, and show them your work. Y yes, yes, I, I, I know, but I, I can't. I, I've tried, believe me, I've tried. I hate it. Like, I know what a terrible impression I make, and I, 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 I feel so miserable and rotten whenever I have to see dealers or agents and talk to them about my work. It, it makes me so nervous, and it's always that the result is always the same. They don't understand it. They look at the work. I can see they don't understand it. It means nothing to them. After I finish it, I'm so sure that it's good. I, I, I'm so proud of it. I feel like, well, like I've accomplished something important. But then they look at it. Listen, if you don't think the work is good... Vincent, that's not the reason. No, no, wait, 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 wait. If you're ashamed to show it to people, all right, just tell me. But please, don't tell me you think it's good and then go and hide it somewhere. Vincent, I am trying to help. I'm sending as much as I can. And I appreciate your help. You... You, you, you have my undying gratitude. But what's the use of it all if you don't show my work? Don't you understand? I don't want to live off of you. I want to earn my own living. I must earn my own living. I must. I must. Teo, 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 don't leave me with, without you. I, I,
Yes, now I see. <laughs> yes, of course. It's so obvious. It's my fault, damn it, it's always been my fault. How could I not see it? It's not the hand that's important, it's the gesture. The figure must be working, striving. It's got to have movement, action, life. God, why can't I learn? Every painting, it's like starting all over again. But I'll get it, I swear. I could make them feel they're seeing one moment that will live forever. Portraits. <laughs> That's the answer. Someday, someday I must be able to paint portraits that a hundred years from now they will appear like apparitions to the people seeing them. They'd be like ghosts, the living spirits of the dead. They'd still be striving, growing, eternal life. My dear Vincent, I have some wonderful news, and may you be the first to know. My darling Joanna is pregnant, and according to the doctor, come around March, we can expect to have a welcome little addition to the Van Gogh family. Needless to say, we are both thrilled and delighted. How I hope that someday you too will have the wonderful pleasure of a wife and child. I find very little that's really important in life anymore. Years ago, there were things that meant a great deal to me. But now, outside of my son, nothing means that much to me. No. No, I, I can't believe that. But it's true. I remember how Voss used to say that we should expect very little from life or we just end up hurt and disappointed. Yet I never quite understood what he was saying until after he died. He was so right. No, no, that, that, that's wrong. Well, I, I, I mean, it's, it's the wrong way to look at life. Nevertheless, Vincent, that's the way life is. Maybe if you lived as other people do, you'd realize that. I could never live believing that. I, I think we, we should expect a tremendous amount from life. The thing is, we, we well, we, we've got to live more in the present and plan for the future. I have no desire to. Past, present, and future are all the same to me. But, but that's wrong. You, you shouldn't live in the past. How I choose to live is none of your concern. But, but it, it means a great deal to me. I'd rather not discuss it. But, but it makes no sense. You're young and attractive. You have a wonderful son. You, you could have a new life. I don't want a new life. All my love is for Voss. No one could ever take his place. Kay, I, I, I respect your love for him, but couldn't, well, couldn't you feel something new? I don't want anything new. Kay, forgive me, but he's dead. Well, it's been over a year. He belongs to the past. I'm going inside. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't you see? You've got to live with the present. You've got to open yourself up to, to a new love. Vincent, please. Okay, I'm going to the Hague soon. You must come with me. What are you talking about? Don't worry. I'll, I'll be able to earn something with my work. We'll have a home. We'll, we'll, we'll be happy. You're out of your mind. Why? Don't, 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 let go of me. Don't, don't you see? I love you. I've always, from the first time, with, with you as my wife, I, I, I could be a great artist. Your son, he have a father. How I, dare you? I would never marry you, never. Okay, wait. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. But, but I love you so No, much. never. Never. You disgust me. Oh, no. Oh, you can't mean that. Kay? 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 Of course, I understand your apprehension, but let me assure you, after what you have experienced, hallucinations, nightmares, to be expected. But, but 
Why is it that every time I try to make sense out of it, what's happened, why it's happened, why I'm here, and this feeling, this horrible, ugly feeling, it's like... You must be patient. Remember, your condition didn't develop overnight. Yes, yes, I, I know. Yours is a difficult case. It will be at least a year before you can hope to be cured. I feel like such a coward. I'm so afraid of another attack. I understand. I understand. But you are doing fine. You really think so? Absolutely. But, but then what would... Trust me. Just trust me. I suggest in a few days we talk. By then you'll feel better. In the meantime, whenever you need me, I'm available. How many times have you asked the owners for improved safety conditions? And what's their response? That explosion was caused by those sons of bitches cutting back on safety devices, not a damn thing else. This is a God's will. This is man's will. Man created this hellhole. Don't believe anyone. No, no, not me, not anyone who tells you there must be high and low and that you'll receive your reward in another life. That's garbage. You have every right to receive your reward here. Thank God. Let me roast you. Thank God you're here. It's unbelievable. Inciting these men to riot? Blaspheming the church? Where are the clothes you came in? How dare you represent the church this way? It's been a terrible tragedy. I, I, I wrote asking for your help. But isn't that why you're here? I'm here because I heard about your insane behavior. The stories were so bizarre I had to see for myself. Really? You didn't bring help? But I told you in the letter that the, these people need food and clothing. You told me you'd given away your money and your clothes, but never, never did I expect this. Don't you understand what's happened here? You filthy rabble-rouser. You were sent here to bring the word of God, not to foment riots. How dare you come here without bringing help? Do you think by lowering yourself to an animal you improved their lot? How dare you! Pathetic fool. 
we offer them a better life in the hereafter. Oh, I piss on you and your hereafter. Not another word. You're dismissed. No, no, you, 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 you can't dismiss me. I most certainly can't. No, no, I've been give, giving them my salary. They, 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 they need my help. Let go of me. Tim, you... Stop it. Tim, you... Stop it. Tim, you Stop make it. a rotten hell, Tim. Stop, Stop, Stop it. You're... You're raving. You're... you're... You're insane. God, where are you? God damn you, where are you? My dear Vincent, forgive me for not writing, but I've been feeling very ill lately, and it's been very distracting. I finally went to see the doctor, but he wasn't very helpful. Thank God he at least gave me something to stop my cough, which was killing me. He told me to work less hours and reduce my stress. All very well, but quite impossible, since my employers continue to make things extremely unpleasant. I work 12 hours a day, six days a week, and they barely pay me enough to cover my expenses. But as I have said before, we must soldier on. Hale, I'm all out of money. I, I can't do my work. Don't worry. I have money for you, Vincent. Here, take it. It's for you. For your work. Yes. I need it to pay my rent. Of course. And then there's my food. Certainly. And then the material. Of course. The canvas. Yes. The brushes. Take it. It's all for you. Forgive me. I'm so tired. I must sit down. Yes. Yes. Rest. It's better. Tail. I hate to ask you this, but I'm afraid I'll need more money. You, you see, I, I, I got... Oh, don't, please. Don't explain. I understand. First, let me slide down. Thank you. 
You see, I I've got to buy more supplies. Don't explain, there's no need. Teo, I, I just remembered that I have other expenses. Don't worry, there's, there's more. Visit. In my, in my vest pocket. I'm too weak to take it. It's yours. Thank you so much. Don't be silly. Your work must come first. Teo. He's sleeping. I shouldn't bother him. I, I, I'm sorry, Teo, but I'm all out of colors. I, I can't do my work. Teo, I must buy more colors. I can do my work. <laughs> Teo? Teo? Teo! Oh. oh no! 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 Teo! Teo, please! Teo! 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 Oh God! Teo! Teo, 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 Teo,
people who wait until you see Arl. The, the color, the air, the serenity. It's magnificent. Everything blooms ten times as fast as in the north. Every day I wake up and I find a whole new treasure of colors and so many different subjects. <laughs> it's enough for a lifetime. Oh, I have so many plans in my head. Ideas are coming in swarms. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do five canvases or ten. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. There will never be a delay again. My God, Paul. You're coming here. Do you realize what it will mean? Why, with you as the leader, we could attract the finest painters from all over Europe. Just think. A society of artists, greater maybe than any the world has ever known. We could have huge exhibitions, colonies of artists throughout the south of France. And the best thing, Paul, the beauty of it is, it wouldn't just last our lifetimes, but could be carried on by others after us. Oh my God, think of it. We could leave behind a body of work that would last forever. We could educate the people. We could change the world. I'm sure you'll find that room comfortable, Paul. But if there's anything you don't like in there, you just tell me. I isn't it wonderful, all the room here? It certainly is. Uh, of course, the house isn't complete yet, but just be patient, you'll see. Slowly, we'll make this place into a palace. A temple of art. Exactly. <laughs> How's the light in here? Excellent. But the country being what it is, believe me, you won't want to paint indoors. Uh, the only problem is the wind. Uh, sometimes it makes it difficult to work. <laughs> God, I'm so happy that you're here. I, I, I still can't believe it. I'm actually going to work with you. I consider it an honor. Well, thank you. <laughs> It'll be wonderful to have someone like you to talk to. I expect to learn a great deal from you. I, I'm sure we'll work very well together. How long do you think you'll stay, Paul? <laughs> I don't know, two weeks maybe. Two weeks? But I, 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 I Vincent, I'm kidding. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh I don't know. Uh, all depends. Oh, I, I'm sure you're going to like it here. I tell you, there's poetry in the air. The, the, try to be patient, though. Give it some time. I think you'll take root here. <laughs> what are the women like? Oh, wait until you see them, Paul. They're beautiful. Ah. Every time I look at them, I think of Monticelli. Monticelli? Oh, oh, oh yes. You, you see, color plays a tremendous part in the beauty of the women here. I hate Monticelli. You do? Just tell me something. Are they big? You know, I like big women. Big all over. Like my paintings, I like a big area to work on. Why don't you unwrap your paintings? God, I'm dying to see a new work. <laughs> Vincent, slow down. There'll be plenty of time for that later. <laughs> I, I'm sure you're going to like it here. A, a, and it's much le less expensive there than Paris. Now, if we're careful with the money from Teo, and if he sells some of your work, you should be able to save plenty of money here. Enough to get me back to Martinique, I hope. Well, if you stayed here a couple of years, you'd probably have enough to go back there. I think after you're here a while, you may want to stay indefinitely. Mm. Country is pure Daumier. I hate Daumier. You do. I see you've been uh, concentrating on landscapes. Oh, oh, oh I, I, I love landscapes. But, but, but portraits, ah, that's my greatest passion. It's just, I, well, well I, I find it very difficult getting models. How okay. come? Oh, it is so damn frustrating. But for some reason, most of the people are afraid of me, and they hate what I make of them. Oh, but they are whorehouses all over this town. It's the first thing I noticed when I got off the train. You have all the models you need right there. No, no, my luck hasn't been any better there. Well, I, I'm not attractive at all, so I can't get them to pose for me for free, and I certainly can't afford to pay them. They'll pose for us, have no fear. W would you like to let me do some painting now? I can show you some beautiful areas. No, thank you.
And I'm not one of those artists who can get off the train, pick up a pallet, and dash off a sunlight effect. I need a period of incubation, at least enough time to take a piss. Well, we, we, we can take a walk through the town later. I, I can show you where everything is. <laughs> we, we, we're going to accomplish great things, I'm sure of it. Just think, this could be the beginning of a whole new era, a, a new dawn in art, the studio of the South. And it all begins here in this house. It was a great meal, Paul. It's a hell of a lot healthier than that cafe. Hell of a lot cheaper, too. I, I don't know how you do it. Oh, you forget, Vincent. I was at sea for six years. You learn. Paul, hmm. I'm dying to see that portrait you're working on. I know, I know. Can I go in your room and take a look at it? Not yet. When do you think you'll finish it? Soon. I have to get to know you a bit better. I don't know how you can do a portrait without me posing. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, nonsense. I paint what I perceive through my imagination. No, I think it's incredible. You know, sometimes, sometimes I, I look at my work and I, I feel like I'm still in my infancy. I have so far to go, and there's so much to do. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking that someday, someday, I must be able to do a figure with just a few strokes. God, can you imagine, Paul, in a few strokes, a, a, a man, woman, child, with the head, body, legs, all in the right proportion? God, wouldn't that be something? Yes, indeed. Just think, Paul, with you as the leader and some of the others joining us, we could show the world what painting is. Oh, painting, Vincent, is a whore. You can make beautiful love to it. You can suck and titillate and nurture every erogenous zone. You can bring it to orgasm hour after hour, and if you're lucky, Really lucky, you'll get a little kiss in return. <laughs> it's wonderful that Tao's selling your work. Mm. If it keeps up like that, you, you, you'll be able to go back to the islands in a couple of years. Well, a lot sooner than that, I think. I, I hope you're beginning to like Earl now. It's all right. The country isn't bad, neither are the women, and there's plenty of them. Hey, it's amazing how you're able to get the girls at the whorehouse to pose for us. You, you, you have such a talent with women. It's not a talent, Vincent. It's a gift I was born with, and I just follow wherever it leads. You haven't seen women until you've seen the women of the South Seas. They're so natural, so uninhibited. Unlike these European women, they don't put a price on sex. They see no virtue in chastity. To them, fucking is a way of life. And they do it constantly. I wish I was back there. It's so beautiful. The air. It's transparent, colors, pure, brilliant. People are kind, living is cheap, and you have all of the beautiful free models you want. If I had money, I'd leave tomorrow. It sounds wonderful. If I thought it was possible, I'd go there myself. Of course, there are disadvantages. 
damn near impossible to work up a good game of billiards. Too bad you don't play. It's a lot like painting. You have to plan ahead. The mind, always the mind. That's why I like fencing so much. Every second you've got to be thinking. You know something, Vincent? You don't move very well. Your body is totally uncoordinated. You look so uh, awkward, so tense. You don't know how to relax. Learning to fence would help. An artist can't possibly do good work until he's known how to relax. It shows in your paintings. You don't paint them, you attack them, and technique goes out the window. Truth is, you'll never become a real artist until you've learned how to paint from memory. Why spend all day outside in this rotten weather when you can paint from your imagination in the studio? But of course, you know, that takes confidence, courage. You know, the work of the man is the explanation of the man. And when I look at your work, I see a man who, who lacks confidence, a man who is afraid of the world. Can't work this way. Now what? It's all wrong for me. What's all wrong? Everything's all wrong. The painting, the this way of working. Don't start that again. You're working on a whole new concept and you expect results overnight. Oh no, but that But nothing. Get back to it and results will come. It's difficult not being outside. It's damn near impossible. I oh, I got to see the colors. I need to breathe the air. Oh what garbage. Imitating the colors of nature is a waste of time. I don't imitate. Colors come from Jews. I heighten, I, I, I epitomize, but I need something live to work from. Well, why don't you start with your imagination? Or is it still dormant? Uh, now, if it's all right with you, I'd like to continue my work. Listen, isn't it possible that your way of working is wrong for me. No, it's not possible. If it's correct, it's correct for everyone. Why, that's ridiculous. <laughs> there is can't be right there. Everyone, that, that, that's impossible. If they're applied correctly, of course they can. No, that, that's not logical. How many times must I tell you that art's an abstraction? It can't be developed by logical means? No, no, we, 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 without logic and reason, you are chaos. No, 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 no. Such a simpleton. Don't you see the artist has little conscious control over the essence of his work? The artistic result has little to do with reason. That's pure sophistry. You're not talking about art. You're talking about mysticism. How can you offer a description of something if it has no basis in logic, reason? You're so naive. So unenlightened. The essence of a work 
lies precisely in what is not expressed. It has no material being. Oh, that is such crap. That, oh, I despise that kind of thinking. It's fraud. You haven't changed the drop, have you? You still despise everything you don't understand. What the hell is there to understand in something that has no logical reason? You're absolutely hopeless. God damn you. Without substance, there is no art. Anything you say? Brigadier? Well, 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 it's true, isn't it? <laughs> well, isn't it? Okay, Brigadier, whatever you say. You are impossible to talk with. Oh, you must be joking. Why do you always cut me short? Why can't you once finish your discussion? You have nothing to discuss. Your opinions are totally absurd. Oh, because you don't agree with yours. Your mind is so incredibly muddled. And do you know where it comes from? This naturalism of yours, this desire to be one with me. I'm painting my, my, my must have heart, soul, passion. Without that, it's worthless. You're talking like an ignorant fool. Oh, shit. Ah, the ultimate retort. Why is it that everyone who disagrees with you is an ignorant fool? I don't know. I've often asked myself the same question. What's the matter with you, Vincent? Cezanne, equally great. How can you even begin to compare the two? Cezanne was a supreme artist. Monet is a mediocrity at best. How dare you say that? He is a great artist, e equal to the greatest. Only to you. To anyone who wants to be moved by a painting. What? What should it move? Your foot? No, no, my heart. It's not the heart that's important. It's the brain, Vincent, the brain. And yours is so deranged. So don't you say that. Oh, well, I'm bored. I'm going to sleep. Well, why, even your own work. What about my work? There are things wrong with it. Like what? Well, uh, for, for one thing, you, you paint so flat. There's no depth to it. Yes. And a lot, a lot of it is cold and dispassionate. It lacks human sympathy. For your information, I paint flat because I want to paint flat. 
and I have absolutely no desire to project human sympathy. And now I'm going to sleep before I throw up. Paul, Paul wait, 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 wait. I, I was ju ju just trying to be helpful. <laughs> I love your work. You, 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 you know that. But for God's sake, let, let, let's not fight anymore. There are some important things I want to discuss. Okay, no, wait till tomorrow. No, 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 no. I, I, I think it's waited long enough. All right, what is it? It's about the association. Oh, God, not that again. Oh, we haven't discussed it in weeks. I think it's time we started to make some definite plans. Such as? Well, for one thing, I'm more convinced than ever that the idea of raising painter to great heights is beyond the power of an isolated individual. No, no. It can only be done by groups of men working together. For, 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 for example, there are countless things you do better than me, but perhaps I, I, I could bring just one thing to your work that would improve it. And if we had several other painters here, they could contribute their particular specialty. Mm. Think what canvases could be produced with all of us working together. Interesting idea, uh, yes. yes. We, we, we've laid the groundwork. Now I think it's time we started to get some of the others down here to join us. I must say, sometimes you have splendid ideas. <laughs> I mean, imagine a group of artists working together on the same canvas. Oh, oh no, no, we no. We could have Degas down here. He would paint the dancing women. And uh, Lautrec, he would paint the whores. Oh, and Cezanne. He would paint the landscape. And I, I would paint people fornicating everywhere and fill the background with used scumbags. Stop it! And you, what would you do? I've got it. Amidst all the debauchery and the fornicating and the whores, you would paint a typical Van Gogh peasant as stolidly tilling the soil filled with used scumbags. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Stop <laughs> it! Good. do that again. I think it would be best for both of us if I stayed at the hotel tonight. I'll be moving out tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive me, but you don't understand. I, I wasn't speaking literally. I, I, I meant... The I don't care that we... what you meant. The whole idea of an association of artists is absurd. Well, that's not what you said before. I said nothing before because I had no desire to discuss but, but, but it. But you, you led me to believe. I uh, led you to believe nothing. Then why did you come here? Because you begged me to. No, that, that, that's no reason. Because I was desperate. Because I'd painted the whole summer through. And I couldn't make one stinking sale. Because I was not appreciated. Not understood. Besides, my liver worried me. I was in debt. I was facing the prospect of a long winter without even having a place to paint in. But, but I, I, I thought if you liked it here, you... What? Stay? You're out of your mind. First of all, I detest it. The owl is the dirtiest hole in the South. And even if it weren't, I never had any intention of staying. Then, then, then you should never have come. I never want her to come. I can't wait to get back to Martinique. Schemer, you, 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 schemer. Yeah, you're the schemer. I was trapped into coming here. Oh, no, that oh but it's all over. I've written your brother for the train fare back to Paris. You didn't even tell me. You, you were going to sneak out of here. I owe you no explanations. You're a traitor to everyone, your wife. Oh, no, no, goddamn business. Oh, I know your type. If you could get it up, you'd fuck everything in sight. And where do you get the audacity to criticize my work? I want us a scrap about being used. I was the one who was being used. You try to exploit me. Never. I never. I only put up with you miserable dribble to avoid the winter in Paris. And I now... I never exploited you. I, I, I wanted to secure you a living, the, the possibility of work. I, I... You wanted a nursemaid, a mother's tit to suck on. And you've used your brother. Living off him like a leech, what a pathetic waste. What I could have done with that money. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You give it a few days. <laughs> wait, wait, what can you lose? You need peace. An artist must have peace. Where will you find it if you can't find it here? Do I tell you, Paul, we must combine. You, me, the others. Sarah would join us, then Pizarro. 
try to come to think of it. All of us working together. It's the only way. What a marvelous idea. Oh, we don't last forever, but while it did, <laughs> we could live courageously and produce great works. We, we could educate the people. We could change the world. No, no, you can't go, Paul. You don't have enough money. Wait a year, then you could settle in Martinique. Your fortune would be made. I'll be back for my stuff tomorrow. Chance of a renaissance lost forever. Oh no, 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 Mr. Van Gogh, I am sorry to report that your brother has suffered his first attack at Saint Remy. It came upon him in the park while he was painting. He has suffered acute mania with hallucinations of sight and hearing. Please be confident that we are looking after him and will diligently attend to his every need.
my dear Vincent, I have some good news for you. You will be glad to hear that the bad moment for Joanna is over and she has brought into the world a beautiful baby boy. Needless to say, we are both thrilled and delighted. Vincent! Dale! 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 I, I, I'm so glad you've come. You're always in my thoughts. I, I, I wanted so much to see you. Things aren't going well, Vincent. There's so many problems. I, 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 I've been very weak lately. I, I get tired so easily. It makes it very difficult to work. Uh, I, 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 I'm so sorry. I, I, I keep thinking how all these expenses are weighing you down. I, I, I've done all this work without ever selling anything. The doctor said I, I looked like a corpse. He gave me all kinds of drugs to take, but they don't seem to help. I feel terrible about not being able to pay you back, oh. but, but, but I will. You'll see. Yeah. I promise. When? Soon. Soon. The doctor says 
it may be a weak part. It's because of overstrain. I may have to take a year away from work. I know what. You, you, you come shout and rush, then I'll go to work at the gallery. Please, you, you mustn't kill yourself trying to make money. You are killing him. No. You are killing him the same way you killed me. No, no. I feel I, like I'm being smothered. I have so many problems, and I, I don't know how to resolve them. I, I, I know. You've given up so much in order to support me. But don't worry, I'll pay it back. When? Soon. Soon. But, but my, my work is improving. It's not good, good enough, but it will get better. You'll see. Scores of bills to pay and so many obligations. <laughs> Please, don't think I'm ungrateful. I'm trying. I, I'm, I'm trying. You know that I'm married. I, I, I have new responsibilities. Yeah, yes, I know, but, but, but please, be patient. My paintings will sell. When? Soon. Soon. When? When? Are there any prospects? No. Is there any interest? No. Any potential? No. Any promise? Any hope? Now that we have a child, I have a family to worry about. Yeah, 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 yes, I, I, I know. But I'm working as hard as I can. When I master my painting, I'll be able to sell. When? When? Soon, soon. My employers make things almost impossible for me. Money plays a brutal part in this field. Don't worry. I'm working day and night, full speed. <laughs> Do you think your work is any good, Vincent? Do you? Do you? Do you? I don't know. Everything has become very impossible. I see no answer. Soon so I'll show you good work. <laughs> Dale thinks your work is worthless. Oh, no. No. Ask him. Why is it not one of your paintings has sold? You're the only one who never sells. Why is that? I'll see people. I'll try to sell. Ask him. Him. I have so many conflicting <laughs> thoughts about you. Patience and work, that's the only answer. I began to think more and more that father was right. Don't say that. Please, don't say that. I know you have to paint these pictures, but why do I have to buy them? He thinks you're pathetic. Oh, no, no. Theo, please, With, without you, I'd have no one. It's absurd. It's against all reason to be doing this painting. It costs so much, and it brings in nothing. I, I, I'll pay it back, I swear. But please, let me continue to work. Please, please, no! You repay me with worthless pictures. What have you ever done for me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You've made my life unbearable. Forgive me. Brother, please forgive me. He supports you out of charity and pity. Oh, no. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Hail. Hail. Charity. Charity and pity. No, 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 Charity no, no, and no, 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 Charity no, and pity. No, no, no. Charity and pity. Charity no, and no, 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 no. This second attack seems to have come upon your brother rather abruptly while he was painting in the fields. 
Rest assured, however, that we will do everything in our power to make him comfortable and restore him to good health.
Unfortunately, we are unable to attribute any direct cause for this most recent attack. Following the attack, he has again experienced severe nightmares, which we hope will subside. In the meantime, please be assured that we will monitor him constantly and make him as comfortable as possible. I haven't lived, I haven't lived, I haven't lived, I haven't lived, I haven't lived. He's uh, filthy. You haven't even framed them. How could I? There's been no time. The edges are torn. Why can't you protect them? Put them somewhere. Where? There's, there's no room. You must hang them up. But not like this. You, 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 you must take care of them. God. These are filthy. How could you leave them like this? Don't they have any value? You mean unfair. I, I have a family to worry about. God. <sighs> Look at this. It's wet and rotten. Don't you see? If they're not taken care of, no one will buy them. Uh, how can you be so unreasonable? Why aren't they framed? Why aren't they cleaned? I haven't had the time. Oh, then make the time, damn it! <laughs> 
paintings will be ruined. You, you have no respect for this work. Why do you hide it? Why, why don't you show it? What's wrong with it? I told you before that you must have a little patience. No, no, I can't, not anymore. Vincent, listen to me. Why? Vincent. Hey, hey, living off of you, I've destroyed your life. No, no, no. no. How can I ever repay the money you've given me? How? It's not about the money. Please, believe me. I love you so much. Yes, I know that I love you too. I don't want to kill you. No, no, don't let me kill you. Please, don't let me. Vincent, stop it. You're not killing me. Remove this thing, this feeling. Take it from me, rip it out, I can't bear it. All right, all right, now calm down. I dread going mad. It would be the end of my work. All right, all right. Look, remember, filthy, neglected, out of sight. No, no, you don't understand. Hiding it under tables, in closets. Listen, listen to me. Forgotten. Abandoned, unwanted, unseen, filthy, rotten. Is it for God's I, sake? I want to paint action. I want to paint life. I, I want to show the soul in nature, the nobility in man. But no one will ever know. It's all waste. Wasted. Wasted. No, 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 no. You, 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 you. Mr. Van Gogh, I regret to inform you that your brother, in the midst of an attack, has attempted suicide. Due to the severity of the attack and the fact that most of them have come while he was working, I have, for the time being, forbidden him to paint, as I think it is much too dangerous. Consequently, I feel it is absolutely necessary for your brother to be kept under observation in the asylum for a long period of time.
I must finish my work. Oh, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling much better now. I, I feel now that I, I'm definitely well enough to resume painting. Mm -hmm. Vincent, we have talked about this before, and oh, I... Yeah, 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 yes, no, no I, I, I know, I know. But, but that was two weeks ago. S since then, I, I, I've improved. I, you, you see, it's urgent now. I, I must get back to work. Well, perhaps after you've made further improvements. But I, the only way I can make further improvement is if I'm allowed to do my work. Soon, very soon. When? It's, it's been almost two months. As soon as you make more progress. But don't you understand? I can't make progress doing nothing. I, I, I hate idleness. It, it's my worst enemy. Vincent, I believe it is dangerous for you to go on painting. But it's the only thing that, that keeps my mind clear. It's the only way I can fight this disease. Don't you see? W working on my pictures is a necessity for my recovery. I, I, if I can't paint, my life is worthless. Well, exactly. It's this kind of exaggerated thinking that is so dangerous. You become completely absorbed by your work, then you lose control of the rest of your life. That is why I'm asking you to abstain from painting. In a few days, we'll talk. No, 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 we'll talk now. Don't you understand? I, I... <sighs> All right. All right. I, I won't paint for a while, but let, let me do something, some kind of work. I, I don't care what. That is not our policy here. Activity stirs the mind, and that's where the trouble begins. We prefer to keep everything quiet and peaceful. Yes, yes, I know. And I think it's disgusting. Why don't you give us something to do? What would you suggest? Well, anything, any goddamn thing at all. For Christ's sakes, we're human beings. You, you treat us like vegetables. We, we, we sit around all day eating, digesting, and waiting for the next meal. Why don't you try living that way? Maybe you do. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, treatment is the only correct one for these patients. What treatment? You don't treat us. You, you, you condemn us to a living death. Anything would be better than this, including death. There is nothing that can be done for a mental disease. All we can hope for is an inner peace, and that can only come through a true faith in God. I wish you would try to attend church services here, Vincent. I believe please, now... Please, is... please, 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 doctor. I, I went through my religious period a long time ago. And let me tell you, 
I can very well do without religion and without God. The only thing I can't do without is my work. It's unfortunate you feel that way. For who? You or me? Vincent, healing comes from within. Yes, yes, I, I know. A and I must sacrifice my will and my self-love, and I must resign myself to suffering and death. Yeah, yes, I I've heard this all before, and it's absolutely no use to me. You, you, you see, Doctor, I, I love life. I love nature. I, I, I love to paint, to read, to see people and things. I, I'm not a martyr. I, I hate suffering. I, I, I don't accept it as a natural way of life. I want to live. I want to work. The work is my only cure. There is no cure for mental disease. The best we can do is eliminate some of the discomfort and keep our patients quiet and inactive as possible. What about me? Do you mean to say I'll have to spend the rest of my life being quiet and inactive? I'm sorry, Vincent. What about me, doctor? Will my attacks come back? What, what can I do to, to, to prevent them? You have to understand. Ultimately, almost everything is preordained. We have very little control over things. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I can't believe that. There must be something. We can only hope that there won't be a recurrence. But uh, have you come to any conclusions, a anything definite, a anything possible? I'm sorry, I can't give you more hope for the future. But what can I do? I must fight it. I must prevent it. Can't you help me? Can't anyone help me? In a situation like this, everything is doubtful. One can be sure of nothing. You must learn to accept things as they are. There are no quick remedies. We can only hope. Let's hope that it will not return. will return, won't it? Again and again. Your painting, The Red Vines, has sold for 250 francs at an exhibit in Brussels. It was bought by Anna Bach, a Belgian lady who is a painter herself. In addition to this, I'm enclosing an article on your work in the Mercure de France by the young symbolist critic, Albert Aurier, who has hailed you as one of the coming painters. Success is on its way, and you'll surely live to see it. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. But, Vincent, success is on its way. No, no, it's too late. Not at all. You've been hailed as one of the coming painters. No, no, I will be punished for it. Congratulations, Vincent. I heard the good news. You finally sold a painting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, to be discovered at last. How long did it take, Vincent? Well, I, 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 I don't know. Of course you do. It took ten years. My, my, ten years. And it will probably be ten more years before you sell another one. Please, please, 
nothing will ever come of your work. The wrong formulations. What does he know? Ah, the man's a fool. As when did you believe in critics? You said yourself, they're all blind. Yes. Yes. What's one man's opinion against thousands? You are a disgrace and a failure. No, no. You have sold one painting in ten years. Please, please. How many paintings have you done, Vincent? Well, I, 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 I don't know. Of course you do. I would guess about a thousand. Now, let's see. 250 francs for 1,000 paintings comes to one quarter of a franc. Vincent, one quarter of a franc. And how many drawings? How many studies? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. 2,000? 3,000? More? One quarter of a franc. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you fool, you fool. And how much did it all cost? The paint, the canvas, and for what? <laughs> 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 and how many francs did it all cost, Teo? Twenty thousand? <laughs> Twenty-five thousand? <laughs> Thirty thousand? <laughs> and the time, the time. And the work, the work. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.